thought I would take a minute and do a review on the new reproduction mud flaps. Um, Harry Speck was cool enough to do some for us, and uh, I sent him these originals. Looks like that's a freight liner, a uh, Kenworth, and a just the regular Stomper logo. And it looks like that's a GMC. That's one that everyone was looking for. Kind of tough to find that original one. And this is a Mac. And the last one is Peterbilt. So those are the originals that I sent. So let's go ahead and open up the reproductions. Now, one thing most people are concerned with on reproductions is that they're marked so that we don't uh, mistake them for originals later. And as you can see, these say they say repo right there on the back. So should be able to identify those. The front is identical to the originals that I sent. And uh, they look pretty good to me overall. Wish I could get the phone to focus a little better, but Anyway, you get the idea there of the quality. Uh, the back side looks nice also. And like I said, the only difference will be the little repro or repo logo there. So the nice thing about it is the repo will be on the inside toward the tires, so you won't ever see it. So let's remove this original here and lay it off to the side and see how well they fit this is the first time i've tried one perfect fit very nice uh, one of the questions i've seen a lot of people asking is how they feel compared to the originals if they're like 3d prints but they're not they're fully flexible just like the originals um, you can bend the the flap back and forth i mean they're nice and Honestly, they feel really close to the originals. Um, I think I'm pretty satisfied with them. And uh, they're close enough that I think it's a really a good idea that they say repo. Or even if they just had a tiny R on there, it would be fine with me. So that's the Stomper logo. Here's the Peterbilt. And the next one is Kenworth. Trying to get them in the light where you can see the reflection of the logo. It's probably not a very good quality video here. It's not wanting to focus in much today. And let's see here. Here's the GMC. This is one that everyone was looking for and seems to be the hardest to come by. It says GMC General on there. And the Mac, again the back side, just says repo, it's just lightly scribed in there. Another Stomper, Freightliner, there's a nice Freightliner right there. I think that may be all of them, there's the Mac, GMC, Freightliner. Peterbilt. I don't know if I showed that one yet or not. Let me get it in the light. I'm trying to get it just right there. You can see the Peterbilt logo. It's kind of tough to get it in the right light. And there we go. So I told Harry that I was going to do an unbiased review of his flaps. And, uh, answer some of the questions people have had and uh, show the sort of quality that they are and also the flexibility. And uh, to me, if they weren't marked with repo on the back, these would easily get mistaken for originals. Very good job on those. Um, I believe he's selling them in the 20 to $25 range each. Um, I mean, I don't think we can even find originals anymore 
very rarely do we see them and if we do they're they're pretty pricey so i think it's a decent deal and uh possibly if you buy a bunch at once he might work something out with you i don't know but uh you can find him on the stomper museum he is a member he also reproduces the scout bodies and uh probably has some other plans in the near future um, if you need to to buy any i would look for harry speck jr on facebook send him a private message and i'm sure he will be glad to hook you up with some reproduction mud flaps for your stomper semis want to thank everyone for watching stay tuned for future videos and also look us up on youtube it's the stomper museum youtube channel please subscribe and like till next time stomper on